This is the ultimate meatloaf, right? This is something that I really love. Comfort food at its best. This meatloaf is always a winner with my lot. Classically comforting and then ramped up a notch with pork and beef for flavor and juiciness, oozy mozzarella and a jacket of smoked bacon. All served with aromatic fennel, lashings of gravy and mashed potato. Okay, first job. It's super simple. Let's get the veg cooking. Throw a swig of olive oil into a large pan. Tear up some fresh sage and rosemary. Then add two chopped onions and two carrots to make a rich veggie base. Just a little bit of seasoning. Slowly fry that on a medium low heat for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Let it caramelize. Let the flavors sweeten and really intensify. Then we'll let it cool down and then that'll go in the meatloaf and it will make all the difference. Next up, Fennel, the surprising star ingredient. I'm using four medium bulbs sliced into wedges. As you slow cook them or roast them, they just become sweet and savory and have depth of flavor. Absolutely beautiful. Lay the bulbs in the bottom of a roasting pan. Add a few chopped fennel tops for extra flavor and season and drizzle with olive oil. Give it all a good toss and then roast in the oven for 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. So, the fennel has been roasting. That's looking very nice. This has cooled down, right? And it's lovely and sweet and gorgeous. So let's make the meatloaf, okay? And meatloaf can be made out of any blend of minced meat, but let's get really into it. This is what makes it good or great to incredible. For the best flavor, I'm using a kilo of pork shoulder and one kilo of beef brisket. Add your cooled down veg and 200 grams of breadcrumbs to absorb the juices and give the meatloaf lightness. You all right? Yeah. Do you want to do some cooking? Yes. Crack in two eggs, two teaspoons of whole grain mustard, and then, to take this meatloaf to the next level, tear in a ball of creamy mozzarella. We've got the seasoning and the veg, and the breadcrumbs soak up all the fat, and it's juicy and delicious. But then you get these little bombs of mozzarella that are gooey and sort of just gorgeous. With all the elements added, it's all hands on deck for the mixing. Points for keeping it in the bowl. I know this is a problem for you. Keep it, <laughs> it is. in the bowl. Make sure that all the ingredients are evenly distributed so that every bite will be layered with flavor. Once mixed, form it into a loaf shape and lay it in your dish of half roasted fennel. Now, we want to do more. We want to add more flavor. So grab the bacon, please, buddy. Crisscross the rashers of smoked bacon, leaving gaps so the rich fat can kiss the meat and the top can go crispy and golden. Then, to keep it nice and juicy, wet some greaseproof paper, cover, and tuck it into bed. Night, night. Pop the meatloaf into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit and roast it initially for 30 minutes. OK, so it's had half an hour and it's basically cooked now but without character. I want to create an incredible sauce. And there's a really simple way to do that. Take 500 ml of beef, chicken or veg stock, add a tablespoon of sun-dried tomato paste, then two tablespoons of blackcurrant jam and give it a good stir. So all we do now is pour that over and like any gravy, all the sticky bits off the bottom of the tray will start to blend really nice. Look at that. Finish by scattering some sage and rosemary rubbed in a little olive oil over the meatloaf. Then pop it back into the oven for another 45 minutes to let all those gorgeous flavors come together. And this is what you get, ladies and gents. Yum. Look at that. Lovely gravy, gorgeous golden meatloaf. You know, the point is we don't want a dry meatloaf, so if we look in here, it's juicy. Served with fresh, lightly blanched greens, creamy mashed potato. So there you have it, guys. A classic weekend comforting meatloaf, deeply flavoured with smoked bacon and mozzarella on a bed of aromatic fennel, swimming in gorgeous gravy. The ultimate centrepiece for a family feast. Absolutely comforting. Delicious, deep flavour. Really nice. So juicy and tasty. The sweetness from the jam in the sauce is off the chart good. And then the fennel. Mmm.